talk about the opportunities we can bring your students and the constituent families that are in your district. Julie? <laughs> We're offering a unique program opportunity for your students where you guys can have custom tailored programs for anywhere from a day to two weeks where your students experience um, different opportunities in the U.S. and in Mexico, learning about the border relations and any other, um, any other interests that your students may have. Um, it's a really good educational opportunity. They have the opportunity to practice their Spanish if they're interested in that. If they don't have current any knowledge of Spanish, um, we have translators that will be accompanying them. It's very safe. Um, they have the opportunity to stay in a host family if they choose to, and different cultural activities such as um, visiting ancient tribes along Copper Canyon, um, getting some exposure to the colonial history of Mexico, um, and we have a delegation that goes to Chiapas as well if they're interested in learning about the culture of the Yucatan. So as my colleagues have said, we're very um, interested in promoting experiential travel seminars and we can provide different options for your students, but we believe in the cultural connections. So we do have the option with the homestay, as we said, and we can explore the issues of the economy in Mexico and deal with issues of poverty. Um, your students would probably be interested in more of the indigenous issues with the specific class that, that they're taking um, and dealing with issues maybe of food security or other economic issues that influence people living in Arizona. And a lot of our delegations in the past have fundraised, fundraised um, for the program cost, so it's very busy for the kids to do that and you know, offset the cost if they're interested in that. Uh, in, a, in addition to a lot of the things we've stressed here, indigenous issues um, and food security. We're also going to be looking at things um, like issues with the water table and ecological issues that also affect the um, indigenous peoples and are parallel with a lot of the issues faced in the Arizona community as well. Um, the awareness of these issues, we believe, will offer your students um, a leg up when applying to the various higher institutions or higher learning institutions that they will eventually be going on to, um, should we all do our jobs well. Uh, so we're looking at that, and then, of course, we, we offer you this variety of options so that we can then tailor um, a more rigid, streamlined um, program for the students so that we can put this all together uh, and have a really directed educational experience for them. And in terms of logistical information, so once we've designed and collaborated with you um, in terms of the program, we then charge for a small fee of $100 for a one-day program, or $130 for each day if it is a longer extended program, That, which also, makes, again, as Lee announced, that you can fundraise to help your students afford this experience. But that includes everything from food and lodging and transportation once they arrive at our Tucson location. So that also includes the homestay experience as well, and cooking and learning from the families that they'll be staying with. So it is a very integrated program. Do you guys have any questions right off the bat that we haven't covered yet? Um, in terms of the homestay, is there an option not to have a homestay? And what's the price difference if that's the case? It's not different as far as well, we can work. We can work in. Um, we can work with our model. Right now, what we have is a hundred a day for um, for not for one day trips, and one hundred and thirty for overnights. So, the thirty days we can possibly dial back when we're looking at when we start looking at not having home stays for lodging. Um, however, that cost may also be absorbed by alternative lodging options that we have yet to really explore. So <clears throat> we can tailor that, but we're going to have to redo our models for that. Um, 
you mentioned that there's your once you arrive in Tucson, like you can you can program while well, our school is already located in Tucson and mm -hmm. one of our students already go to Mexico for dinner or just hanging out. Uh, we don't really want a program that's based in Tucson. We want to be actually in Mexico the whole time. Mm -hmm. uh, what location will we actually be in? You mentioned a lot of the different trips, but what city would you based out of? It depends on, on what was like the interest of your students mm -hmm. uh, in particular, because then we can cater to them and bring them to different locations that have resources and where our program leaders can Introduce them. Example host series? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Northern Chihuahua and. Uh, we, have, uh, we have an extensive um, yeah. series of where we have our homestays and many of those places, such as in Northern Chihuahua. Was it on? Chapas, Depending on you know, what type of issues you're, you would choose. You know, to engage the students in. If it was more of the indigenous, it would be in Chiapas or Northern Chihuahua. And typically, the programs you know don't spend a lot of time in Tucson. I think we, you know, the students would meet up with the program leaders in Tucson, and then we we would provide transportation if needed um, across the border. And that's where they would be. It's more staying in Mexico. Starting point. Right. To do you know Mexico. introductions and get the group acclimated to who they'll be dealing with. Mm -hmm. And the group leaders would also um, speak Spanish. Would be translators if. You have sophomores or juniors that have limited Spanish experience, but it, as Lee mentioned earlier, they they would be improving their speaking skills and gaining Spanish and I language. Think the difference with our program, um, if students are interested in immersing themselves more in Mexican culture, I mean, going to dinner in Mexico is one thing, but our program provides a more like cultural experience where they're actually, if they choose to stay in a homestay, they're interacting with the local population and they're, you know, trying to communicate in Spanish if they choose to and having these different options where they wouldn't have if they were just going over there for dinner and coming back the same night. So it's a little bit more of an immersion experience and they're going to learn about some issues that they would be exposed to in just a day trip. How are the host families chosen? Are they um, are they young people interacting with other youth from the areas that they go to? How how does the uh, actual engagement with local communities happen? Yeah, and uh, on the addition of that, are the students paired off with each other, or are they have their individual homestays, and how far are the homestays from each other? Uh, we have mul multiple homestays in the same community, mm -hmm. uh, so they will, even though they will be a single student to each homestay, they will be in the same general area, so there will be a shared experience in that way. However, we kind of want them separated from each other so that they don't um, cling close to uh, whoever they came with, so we don't have the best friends staying together and not interacting with their families. Uh, that being said, there are also some of the families do have um, children of the same age or younger. Uh, but again, that's a that's a variety as the home the homestays aren't produced in factories, so each one is, each one is unique and has its own family dynamic, um, which adds to the cultural. Um, <laughs> Subtly hilarious. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Well, um, on that, we also have time for reflections. So students are able to to break down their own experiences and share theirs with the other students um, from the time they are separated. But um, and in addition to that, we prepare them with orientation materials so they are prepared for the experiences that they will have and the academic components that we yeah, eventually we hope will further their careers. What is the uh, academic component? Is the typical day mostly at a host center studying, or is it academically at the, at the site? Uh, to 